Hi Sven, it's Jerry here now at Donahue's. Sorry, maybe a wee bit of road noise here, but uh, you'll get the gist of an ISO. As you can see, she's a 211W, 2162 shots on, on a Ford Transit. She's the 520 VIP. We'll just take a wee walk around the outside of her here. Uh, obviously that's your entrance door there, which we'll go in a minute. This is your uh, toilet cassette in here. That's your toilet cassette. Moving around the back. So up at the top there you'll see that brake light and that brake light there's a reversing camera all built on. Down here is the boot. So you have a good boot space on there. These two cushions here, I'll explain later, but you'll, the two cushions belong actually to the front of the van. But you'll see why they're on here in a second when I, when I get under the inside. Let's close that off. And there's your LPG tank, your gas bottle. Sorry, in there. And then, just around the other side here, and that's your service box down there where you fill up with fresh water all that kind of stuff plug on your electricity your Truma water heater this fan's also got diesel heating in it nice wee camper in fairness I say only six meters long uh, so we'll step on side here I'm just going to put this in pause and we'll step on side and get a wee look on side so here we are nice fan we're just going on side Sorry, I put my fingers there. So, just looking around to the front, you'll see your two swivel seats, six speed gearbox, your radio there, your multifunction steering wheel. Up above, there's a skylight up above the cab. Moving around, you see a couple of USB ports there. Nice with the seats, we have shots on that road on them, like you know. Over this side here, you have a big long couch. Now, in here, is a travel seat which is basically the same as this one on this side of this setup so if you can imagine that seat there's one seat the same as that on on the on the left hand side of the van or the passenger side of the van and the other two cushions are when you're not using that seat the lounge then forms something similar to this side just not as long and for making a bed up then you can make a bed up on the bottom and basically you just sorry better put the power on so put the power on there and so you can see that table dropping down So basically then what happens is you lift this over to the fire side and gives a bit of strengthening and you make a sort of a, like it's a small double across this for two kids or something like that across the whole van and just lift that up again and just lift the table back up again now now you know what we'll just leave it down because I want to show you the electric bed here now so this electric bed, now in fairness, we're not going to be able to shoot it the whole way down, but that electric bed, you can sort of leave it here, get up on your ladder, and that's a full-size double again up there. Two adults can sleep in that, and uh, no bother at all. Now that bed also, if you weren't carrying passengers, you obviously take the travel seat away, and the bed will actually sit down on top of this bed. So it means you don't have to make up this unit at night, you can just drop the bed down, and it'll give you your your um, full size double and it just got very smoothly there back up on its own runners again good job in fairness and then we'll put the table back up nice big lounge area in fairness to be sitting on it's really nice and obviously when you're if they're when you have the lounge is made up the way 
this one is and you have a lounge made up the same on that side then this table then obviously comes across as well and you have your full size table for for when you're eating or having a drink or whatever all right we'll just put that back there Round here to your on this side now and you can see you have a three ring hob you have two gas rings and an electric ring there nice size sink nice wee bit of work tap on the front you have your cutlery drawer here all soft clothes cupboard space down here you have your nice oven grill there look was I don't think it was hardly used um, so and then round to this side here you have your big fridge freezer fridge there at the bottom freezer at the top your control panel as you can see there that's your Robasto diesel heater another wee storage area up here your TV area is there this is your TV bracket and that pulls right out so you can watch the TV and then probably the big, big selling point for this camper is the big separate toilet shower so you can see you have your swivel seat there your wash hand basin there storage up above here in the glass cabinet storage down below in this cabinet round then if you just your, your toilet here so you just come round here now and you'll see separate shower Sorry, my fingers in the road again. Good size shower, in fairness. Just close that over again. And then on here, now again, these big cushions on here, there's plenty of storage on behind these big cushions. These big cushions are for making up the bed at the front, but you can see you have shelves there, you have your headrests and all that for your, your extra seats, your ladders on there. But all in all, Good size, good deep wardrobe, in fairness. You can bring your hanging clothes and you can push it over into the corner. Lock it on the place. I'm hoping this is helping you a wee bit, Sven, in fairness. I'm not the most professional at these, but I'm giving you an idea. I will just look around the van again and sure. See what you think. And sure, if you need any questions, answers, fan, just give me a call on 086 043 5641. Thank you very much for watching.